Hi, it's Chris with Implied Music. This morning, I was uh, touring YouTube, as you do, and I visited Guy Micklemore's channel. He's a composer and, and teacher, highly recommended. He was showing Sound Paint, which is a new player engine from 8DO. You might know 8DO as a sound library creator for contact. It downloads free, and it comes with a great piano. Let's talk a little bit more about it and take a look at it. Well, I've been using 8DO's sample libraries for contact for many years, probably more than a decade. Um, here's just the, my directory for 8DO. You can see the 69 Legacy Piano uh, is there. Uh, the Sound Paint Library downloads with their 1928 Steinway. I think it's better. It's got tons of velocity layers and lots of patches. But I mean, look at these other unusual instruments the 8DO is focusing on. They're great content creators for contact. And I think that a lot of fascinating stuff is available and will be available going forward for Sound Paint. Now, the question is, do you really need another sample player? Oh, I don't know, maybe. <laughs> so this is what it looks like when I load up Sound Paint in Logic. Um, obviously, there's going to be tons of possibilities for us if we spend the, I don't know, it's like, if you want to get everything, I think it's like 700 and something dollars, even more with a bunch of packs. And, it, you know, it's okay. That's fine. Because each individual instrument comes with a, a whole set of articulations and effects. And they, they begin at like $25 and go up to maybe 50. It's very reasonable if you compare it to mm, similar sample libraries for contact. Um, in, in any case, the instrument, the player downloads with the 1928 Steinway and it is a very playable instrument. I have the um, main two mic uh, instrument loaded. Let's listen to it. Soft and louder and louder. It's got a lot of velocity layers. It has a nice pop piano quality. A little bit hard, hard hammers. So the player handles a lot of notes really quite well. I have a fairly powerful computer, but it's handling the notes really, really beautifully. Sounds great, very playable. And 8DO is known for its effects, its arpeggiators, its um, approach to sound design, as well as great sampling. So let's check out some of their bells and whistles. All right, this is called uh, Arpeggiator Forever. Okay, I wonder what that means no hands. Here's the arpeggiator. And I see down here it's set to hold. Um, so pretty. Let's, should we change the chord? Here we go. I think there's a delay on there too. Let's turn it off. Yeah, the delay is definitely helping a lot. Uh, we also have effects. Yeah, we've got two delays um, bouncing around as well as an EQ. What have we got here for effects? Oh, just all the kinds of good things that you'd expect. And of course, these must be designed by them, right? Analog distortion, we'll have to try that. Some cool filters, ladder and uh, variable states as well as analogs, bit crushing and various kinds of tricks. Well, okay, I'm curious. Let's load up that um, main mic piano again. Distortion. Analog distortion. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> That's good. That's good distortion. That makes me happy. Um, <laughs> weapon of choice. Ha! <laughs> What does that mean? Well, you know what? There's presets. A little 
little, just a little chunk. Oh. All right, I could probably, you know, go deep into that. Let's listen to a few other patches. And this one's called Chill and, I don't know, Chill and Verse, I don't know what that means. Okay. That digital reverb is like backwards. So pretty. And there are uh, probably uh, a bunch more tricks of, you know, patches using that trick. Here's something they call cinematic. wonder what that means exactly. Go back to the rack. All right, cinematic, that implies we should go big here. Mm-hmm, pretty. It's a very big reverb. It's uh, delicate, though. Oh, man, this is a super playable piano. Super playable. You know, um, this is going to the, not the top, but near the top of my list. I'm impressed. It's a free piano with this player. VHS vibe. Okay, this is going to be wobbly, right? I'm pretty sure. Let's see. Okay, minor seven chords. <laughs> Maybe a little extreme. <laughs> um, and what's vintage mean to them? Okay, yeah, a little hard hammer is not very long sustained. A lot of reverb. Okay. We could probably listen to all these, but I expect that you're going to just go ahead and uh, sign up at uh, the SoundPaint website. You know, you'll have to create an account with everything that entails and go ahead and download it. The player downloads uh, fairly economically, uh, and you'll get a standalone uh, AU and VSTs. It works with Windows. The, uh, it works on my system here. I'm running Catalina on a Mac. The piano sample library uh, uh, downloads at like six and a half gigs and then expands to, I think, more than seven. So <laughs> think about that. Um, and I think that's the reason it's so playable. It's like tons of layers and it's just a beautiful sounding piano. I'm like very happy with this. Um, you know, it's kind of a no-brainer if you can tolerate the idea of having yet another um, play engine in your world. Well, I hope this has been useful. Like and subscribe. Um, ding the bell. You'll be notified when I do my next video. See you next time.